Alex had three touchdowns. He had one, you had one, Warren had one. Three El Paso kids. How, how cool is that? <laughs> I haven't even thought about that either. That's uh, that's awesome. Uh, that's, awesome. that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad it, uh, it happened like that. That's, that's neat. It seemed like the game plan early on was just kind of pound Aaron, and then you guys that play action really opened it up. You feel like that play was kind of the key to open things up towards the end of the second half? Yeah, absolutely. We kind of knew that was our strategy going into the week, that we were going to be able to you know pound these guys inside with Aaron. But if you know we could take some of the safety pressure off of him with uh, – with shots over the top, that that was going to be a, a major key to our success. So, um, you know, it ended up it ended up working in our favor. There's definitely some stuff we need to clean up, but overall, it was a great team win. So, Did you feel once you made your initial break off the line, just build on that on that touchdown early in the first half, just feel like you were gone as soon as you broke. Yeah, you know, it's something that we've been working on all week, and uh, you know, I kind of got wide eyed when I saw the corner and the safety come down, and you know, after that, I, I kind of knew, and Zach put it right on the money. So, it, it seems like you guys really have a, a pretty good connection. With yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, he came in in the summer, and it, it, we kind of bonded right away. And, uh, you know, he's a good friend now. And um, just um, a lot of work over the summer and this fall camp, uh, getting our timing right, because it was something we definitely had to work on. It's not something that just came like this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good connection for us, for sure. Did he kind of get in a groove there in the second quarter? Yeah, he did. I mean, he looked great. Um, he took a few shots tonight. Um, he scared me a little bit when he went down um, with that in, uh, injury in the first half. But, um, I mean, once he got in his groove, I mean, you can see the guy's got a great arm. He's got a lot of confidence, and, um, you know, he's a great quarterback. How about Kavika in your receiving core? How does he fit with you all? You know, Kavika's funny. Um, he, he can kind of do everything. He can throw the ball. He can catch the ball. He can run the ball. And, and um, you know, we love him for that. We can kind of put him wherever on the field. And, uh, you know, we welcome him. We give him a hard time when he comes over and tries to be with the receiver group. We kind of push him out of the way. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, we're more than happy when he makes plays like that down the field. Yeah, absolutely. Coach Peace is a, a really creative coach, and uh, he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeves. He's kind of like a magician. Um, but yeah, I, f I felt like we didn't show too much. Uh, you know, there's definitely a lot more uh, we can do off that kind of stuff, and um, you know, it's going to help us along the way the rest of the season. Yeah, I mean, anytime you come out in your first game, you know, you want to start fast, but um, get those first game jitters, and things are going to happen. So. I think we, we pulled it together well and put some good drives together, like you said. How, good, how well did uh, Aaron I mean, affect your balance attack throughout the offense? Right. I mean, Aaron Jones made some great plays. And you know, he's elusive back that was able to you know, get us some, some first downs when we needed it and, uh, and uh, made some plays all night. And having him is, like you said, just gives us that balance that, you know, that, that helps it out. You guys didn't use him much in camp. Did you realize he was that good? Well, I, you know, I talked to him. I hadn't haven't seen him play live in person, and you know, it was it was great to see. And uh, I'm happy for him. You know, his first game back. You know, he had a he had a great night, and you know, just looking forward to the rest of the season and watching him play. It seems like you've really developed a, a connection with Coach Fuente in particular. Um, do you see that? Do you feel that with, with, with on him in particular, or all the receivers? You no, know, I feel that with all the receivers. You know, we worked hard during camp, and you know, we had that grind for a little over two, you know, two and a half weeks of just. Um, getting a connection, and like you said, me and Cole have had some some great plays. But I think we have you know many weapons. You know, as you saw even Kabika Johnson get out there at receiver and make a great play, and you know stuff like that is just going to help us down the road that we have multiple weapons we can utilize. And you know, we had a Cole had a great night, obviously. You're working on your sideline a little bit. How uh, how do you feel? Well, it's uh, took a few shots there, but you know it's part of the game. So especially at quarterback, you know you got to look downfield and you're going to get hit a few times, but. Um, you know, I was able to, you know, we have some great trainers that were able to, you know, get me right back in the game. How big was that drive at the end of the first half, nine seconds ago? Before? It was huge. You know, it's just a, it's just that momentum swing. You know, going into half, you want to have that, um, you know, going and scoring. It just helps you going into halftime, and, and I think that was huge. It might have been tough to prepare for, especially if Ryan's defense and NMSU brought in. Right. Were there any particular adjustments you guys made in that second quarter, or was it just executing the game plan the way you just kind of laid out? With your yeah, team? I mean, anytime you have a, a – a new defensive coordinator and a new um, a defense that we haven't seen uh, much. We, we, you know, I think we had a great game plan, and like you said, we just stuck to that. You know, we made minor adjustments here and there, which you have to do throughout the game, and we did that, you know, on the sideline and at halftime. But as far overall, I think Coach Peace put us in a great position to win, and we had a great game plan. I think we executed it well, and there, but there's still a lot we need to work on. You know, we're gonna watch this film and just get better from it because you know we had some mistakes. Timing going to be one of those things that you feel right off the bat without even looking at film that you got to definitely work on. Definitely, timing was one of them. Um, 
I felt I could have worked the pocket better a few times and, you know, got got the ball in some better places to let guys run after the catch. But, um, you know, that's things we can work on in practice and um, in the meetings. Um, yeah, you usually don't see that. You see a lot of completed balls the first couple of games. And now you, when you got people playing hard, like they were playing DBs and like some of the linebackers, it's hard to get open balls without getting hit. And it's hard to catch the ball when you get hit. So I'm glad we had that. Did it fire you up a little bit more to see your brother play? Yeah, it did. I, <laughs> I was excited, especially when he, when he scored his first touchdown and then the one where he like uh, fell and like put his hand out. I wish he would have scored that one, but. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be for you guys if you wake up Monday morning and lose an eight lead rusher? Oh, that'd be that'd be great. <laughs> Confidence is obviously a big key for the win, but talk about just the chemistry that you guys got to work on that front seven and having just improving pass rush a little bit. Um, yeah, we got to really our responsibilities. Uh, a lot of us say we missed the call or something like that. We're not we weren't commuting communicating very well so we got to get better on that and like playing hard for each other and not like getting on each other but like um give them a pat on the back just tell them everything will be all right and move on to the next play there's a lot of relief when you debut with this defense and it all kind of works yeah it would have been terrible if we <laughs> put up 40 points it would have been bad so yeah i was i was relieved but uh i got a lot of faith in coach mason so i knew it would be everything would be all right how deadly is Aaron stiff arm have you ever yeah, he, he tried. Well, I remember when I was red shirt and he was playing, I caught it a couple of times. But now, like, he'll, he'll just try. And I, it's, it's not working. <laughs> <I'm> not <laughs> the, the first half, the offense had three touchdowns. It was Burgess, Coronado, and Rockwood. How cool was that? Uh, it was great. It was great to see the people from El Paso doing big things because nobody, nobody other than UTEP believed in any of us. And now everybody's excited about all of us. Take that chip on your shoulder next week. Yeah. I'm just trying to have a great game down there. <laughs>